Okay, so it's that time again. And if some few days we'll be celebrating. Everybody will be talking about, in fact, we've already started talking about love, 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 and Valentine's Day love and all that. Should love only be experienced and expressed in February, the month of love? Last week we talked about intimacy in marriage. Today we'll talk a bit more about that as well. But my guest today, they make love beautiful. They make it look beautiful. I mean, but is it all a facade or there's really true love? What constitutes true love in marriage? What keeps a couple to get a young, vibrant, celebrity, in the public space marriage going for nine years? My name is Wahine Yue Gifti Welcome to The Standpoint. And um, today it's all about love. Love up. Flaunt your lover. Well, let me say thank you to GTP for my Valentine, you know, fabric. And uh, she collection sold the Valentine dress for me. Papa Cosmetics gives us the makeup product and applied by makeup and more. My earrings today, normally she gives me the whole, you know, shenanigan, the beads and everything. A goodzy Ghana. Thank you very much to them. And my hair by Extra 5. We take a break when we come back. Ha, huh. love, 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 love. How do we sustain love over the years in marriage? We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome to the standpoint. Yes, the month of love, and we're talking about love and not just love, one time love, but sustaining love in marriage. In marriage. So it is love up, flaunt your lover. Love up, flaunt your lover. And my guest today, husband and wife, they sure know how to do it and do it well. Like in your face, baby. Like it, hate it. We are here. We are in love. You can join us or it's up to you. But well, let me say thank you to Walmart Africa. They sponsor the standpoint. Um, Walmart Africa, they produce fried or cooking oil and also bring into this country fortune rice, which comes in three types. The green package one, very good for the soft dishes. That's the omutu and rice water. Orange package one, excellent for wache. And then the wine package one. Good for jollof rice and fried rice. We also say thank you to African Women's Development Fund, AWDF. They support women's rights organizations across Africa. This program is also aired on ABN TV, which is on Sky Channel 235 across Western Europe, parts of Canada and Asia. Our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh. And of course, our YouTube channel, The Standpoint. You don't want to miss anything. And I go straight up to my panel for today. My guest, Ochiame Kwame, and his beautiful wife. Welcome to The Standpoint. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay! <laughs> I just... I just hate your hair. Ah! Because oh. I'm jealous. Oh, I know. Thank you. <laughs> I love your hair. It's thank beautiful. You, it's beautiful. You, beautiful. You are glowing too. Oh, so I'm, I'm, try I'm trying hard. So, so what's the secret? Two kids. You look like 16 years. You've had 14 years. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I am blushing. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> What's the secret? How, how do you keep it all together? Um, I go to the gym often. Okay. I drink my lemons. I my kids call it my concoction. So morning and evening. Okay. And then, basically, I also enjoy fufu. <laughs> Not that. So really, you take good care of yourself. I try. Yes. And how are you able to do it with two kids? Um. Kwame in fact, helps. three kids. No, you have three kids. Right, uh, with him. Thank you. The <laughs> first one. The first child, who mm. is him, actually mm. helps. He, he helps with everything. Um, it's just us in the house. and um, You don't have house help? No, I don't. I've had some before, but right. um, I've not had a house help for quite some time now. Yes, so the kids are a bit grown, um, eight years he'll turn nine this year and then six he'll, she'll turn seven this year yeah. so we sat and realized that um if we continuously 
bring their house helps in, they may end up not doing anything. Because when the house help left, we realized that they were very dependent mm -hmm. on things. So we've decided to let them go. So they help, I help, he helps, and we do it together, everyone. We've shared the roles. So. I must say you're an amazing couple. Oh. Tissues, please. <laughs> Honestly, amazing you, couple. Baby. Because both of you are busy as well. Yes. Yes, we are. Actually, most of the time, you, I mean, you're on the go. You have a concert yes. here. You are in the U.S. You are in Canada. You are here. You are in Kumasi, all over the place. Yes. And do you go with them or you leave them here? Sometimes when the kids are on vacation, um, we try to go with them. Or when Anis mom is with us. But uh, usually, whether I am physically gone with them mm. or we are emotionally gone, Okay. We live together and then we all come back together. together. It's a unit, you know. So if no matter where I am, I'm testing her like a million times a day, phone calls back, back to back. Mm. Um, you know, uh, we, we stay connected. Is, is this something that happened naturally or you, you actually worked on it? You had to work on it? So when I met Anish, she was a little scared. You know, I'm really fine. Yeah. yeah I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fine. Yeah. 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 Spice, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Chest. Yes. A cute yes. guy, you know. I'm really fine. I know why. <laughs> so I, did, I wanted to calm her down, you know. So I told her that, you know what? Wherever that I'm going, I will take you. Yeah. So that you see that I'm not doing anything silly. So if I say I'm going to studio, I'm going to studio. You know, so I'm not going to studio to quickly call you from the studio and dash to Bantama. Yeah. I'm going to see a girl, you know. So I, I, I build that point. And whenever I get to, if I'm not with her, I'll send her a text message from the place where my phone is dying. You can call me on Kojo's phone. Mm. So we started from a very transparent um, beginning. And right. it has carried on through the relationship for 14 years now. So, 14 years? Yes. But hey, boy, yeah. I nine, said nine. Nine for the official, okay. unofficial. Uh, 14? Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. I expected an applause. <laughs> <laughs> In these times that they say celebrity marriages don't last, you've been going on. I mean, celebrity relationships don't last. You've been going on for 14 years. Yes. How do you ward off the temptations? You know, lately, I don't get that many temptations. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get them a lot, but I think for about four, about four years now, almost every woman that reads blogs or yeah. listens to the radio knows that I'm seriously married. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I but at some time, that's what even makes and it's like your best son We will break, have, we'll break him. I, I I know I have a few tricks. Yeah. So like when you WhatsApp me, hi love, and mm. I will then I reply hello sis, you know. So <laughs> to let you understand that I am not going there with you, mm. and then sometimes to um, I do not go to the nightclubs because the way the girls dance these days, when you go to the nightclub, you are not careful. You get you drink small. You fall yeah, in down. trouble. Exactly. I don't put myself in harm's way. And then, um, how else? I also, I'm focused <laughs> mentally. I've decided that this, in, when I'm 60 years old and I write my tell it all book, I want to be able to say I was married for 40 years and I never I cheated. cheated. I think keeping my eye on the prize is, but most importantly, I'm married to an amazing Even woman. Mine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And you got make go <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah. She cooks, she cleans, she takes care of the house, she's discreet, oh. she's intelligent. You can call her at 2 a.m. and say, you know, I'm trying to go into this business with this guy. They are trying to cheat me. What do I do? And she come up with a diabolic strategy <laughs> that will defeat them. You know, I, I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you, you have decided that for your own self-respect and dignity and for the ambition and the aims that you have in life, you are not going to taint yourself or it's because you love your wife so you don't want to hurt her? That, that's very interesting. So my father used to like girls small, small. Mm -hmm. So when we were growing up, um, all of us, we decided that when we, when we decide to marry, we are not going to cheat on our wife. So my senior brothers, the younger one after me, Flo King, we all don't do that. It's a, it's Flo something. King is your brother? Yes. We come from the same parents, same mother and same father. Oh, I see. Yeah, so he, there's a, a lady after me 
who is a teacher, and then Flo Kane and Kunta, they are all my brothers. Same parents. I know Kunta is your brother. Yes. But I didn't know that Flo Kane is your brother. Oh, yeah, he's my brother. So all Flo Kane, um, we, so when we meet, we discuss, we encourage each other, and then we let people know that, we let them know that, you remember, we've decided to make our wives happy. Can we stay on course? You know, so the that's the first thing. It's historic. Mm. The second thing is that I fear, not even fear that, I'm, I'm going to taint my brand, or I'm going to taint myself. Fear that I'll lose this amazing woman and my kids. Right. And then, uh, be beyond that, is also the fact that she's trying. I can appreciate, if I tell you the number of sacrifices that this lady here has made for me. Mm. She put on a whole law career to follow me around. I remember the first time we went to, 12 years ago, I took her to um, this guy's office. Uh, so Chris's office, mm -hmm. and then he said, hey, beautiful girl, won't you find some accountant to follow this guy? But the studio, <laughs> <laughs> You know, so um, she's made a lot, lots and lots and lots of sacrifices. Like some that I can't even tell you about. Mm -hmm. To follow me around. And I think that it's only respectful that I give her that much respect. Mm. And is, do you think you made the right decision marrying this man? From what he's saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I think I did. Because from day one, he showed me a lot of things. When I met him, relatively, I was green. Um, we are seven years apart in age. Okay. So I had just finished the uni. And he taught me a lot of things that he had done. Mm. And for, he, he taught me things from experience, so to speak. And so, yes, um, I think I made the right decision. Putting aside your career, your ambitions and everything to live his dream with him? Yes, I think it was not of course in the sense that um, when I met him, I had finished law. So what was to be was to proceed to law school. But then I realized that I followed him a bit after uni when I was doing my national service. And I realized that there wasn't exactly a business angle to what he did mm -hmm. and from the collection of money to everything so i realized that okay if i could and i didn't have the technical know-how to do that i just knew that it wasn't right. right so if i could just learn if i'm going to spend my life with him then his decisions are obviously going to affect me so mm -hmm. if i am going to be affected by his decisions i might as well join in and so the fact that I put one thing down and went to do my master's in business administration to support didn't mean I had put my life on hold. hold. It just meant that I had changed course, but then to do something that is of high interest mm. to me. Do, do you end salary by supporting him, managing him? I actually <laughs> dip my hand into the entire national fund. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, girl. I, love I you just more. love you. Love you. You more. manage the home, don't you? <laughs> yes. You I run do. the home, I so you try. have to determine what goes in there. So, Achame, I mean, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Oh. She's in charge of everything. I, the only decision that I make at the house is mm. things like, oh, why did they vote for? your mama. Why is Arsenal not <laughs> playing against Chelsea? I make the big decisions. But the small decisions like where we live, school fees, which schools the children go to, what we are eating, where's the next action, all that is taken by her, but I'm still the big man. <laughs> Did you get it? He made the small unnecessary decisions and then she makes all the important decisions. I just love you too. Let me take a break when we come back. We'll, just, we'll continue the discussion. It's amazing. I mean, you are just... You inspire me, honestly. Oh. I've been married just two years. I'm much older than both of you. I'm sure if they put both of you, you're eight years old. Yeah, I remember when you were young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you were young, I remember. Well, you're watching The Standpoint. I'm talking to Achiami Kwame and his beautiful wife, and Anika, right? Anika, yeah. Anika, okay. So what's the full name, Anika? Insia Appel. Insia Appel. Yeah. You were Anika what? Anika Suno AJ. Suno AJ. Yeah. Then he gave you the Insiapa. Insiapa. Okay, you mm -hmm. lost two surnames. He's giving you two surnames. And I'm also it's trying cool. to change the Anika to Anika. Because I'm a chame. I can't, my wife can't have an English name. We've been fighting over this for like 10 years now. 
simple thing. Change your name, same spelling, just change the sound. Anika, Anika, Apple. She says no. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm sure there's a couple sitting watching, and then the wife will look at the man. Say what? You <laughs> hear <Yeah. laughs> what is going on? <laughs> well, welcome back. Remember, the standpoint is also aired on ABN TV on Sky Channel 235, which is across Western Europe, parts of Canada and Asia. Let me say thank you to Royal Apple and then Apple Juice and Royal Ap uh, Orange Juice. Royal Apple Juice and Royal orange juice by casa preco company limited they support us and of course awake purified mineral water house of foods antivera they matter may say they support us yep cleaning services takes care of our environment anika were you surprised to find out that ochiami is the man that he is today in terms of character in terms of habits in terms of how he treats you not exactly. I wasn't. Um, growing up, my dad was very kind to my mom. They're, they've been married for 51 years. You're kidding me. Yes. I'd love um, to interview them. Oh, that would be cool. I would love to interview them. <laughs> they've been married wow. for 51 years, yes. And they treated each other like friends. And um, they were each other's best friends. So when I met Kwame... As much as I also knew that a lot of men didn't treat their spouses well, and sometimes the women also didn't treat, treat their husbands their well, husbands well um, I also was in the know of the fact that people also treated them exceptionally well. When I met Kwame, there is this stereotypical notion that musicians um, are womanizers. Mm. And so he quashed it from day one mm. that that's not the kind of person I am. He said that this is who I am. This is what I do. I come from a home. Yeah. Those were his exact words. I come from a home and they trained us to treat women right. And so that's what I will do. And then from day one, he laid out his cards. This is what I want to do. This is who I want to become. I want to go back to school. Mm. And it pretty, it pretty much tied into what... I wanted in a man, yeah. so yeah. Mm. I think from the onset, he set the parameters, and he also said that he has been here for long, mm. meaning this world, etc. And to be able to make a relationship blossom, there has to be transparency. And so some of the things we had to do were he would mm. take my phone home, and I would take his home for like a week or two weeks. We would be keeping each other's phones, and then would come back and exchange, even till date, when he's stepping out and his battery is off, he just picks mine and says, I'm going with yours, charge mine and use it, or the other way around. So it has contributed because our, I, I saw a post on social media that said our parents didn't cheat because they didn't have phones to be texting people. And so sometimes these text messages we send are... Uh, uh, go overboard a bit and so yeah we try to ensure transparency with that do, do you get people looking at you and thinking you couple are either very strange or you are lying i get that it's all true. the time mm -hmm. we also get the fact that people think we are slow i mean there's no fun in this and so but we are in we're having a lot of fun so i can tell yeah. and i think um it's not about what people think because in this relationship when i wake up in the mm. morning and my wife has not made up mm. and i see all her pimples on her face mm. and she's not brushed her teeth and she's speaking into my nose mm -hmm. you know when we get to that point it's just the two of us yeah. nobody else is relevant yeah. not my mom not your dad <laughs> <laughs> you know nobody's relevant when we get to that point because when i have treated my wife well Mm. And I come back home tired, and she wakes up at 12 to fix me tea, mm. you know. And I am enjoying that, that, I'm enjoying that moment. Or when we fought, 
-hmm. And I go back home and she's pretending that she didn't hear I'm calling. I'm standing outside the gate. There's no one's coming and open me. Say, cigarettes, bet you me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm standing out there. And I come, she's giving me the cold treatment. It's just the two of okay. us. So I know that what I get out of a woman mm -hmm. is purely like planting corn. If you give it the right sunlight, the right water, the right ingredients, it will blossom and give you more. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just a small tactic that mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You didn't hear that. No, I didn't. So just <laughs> between a big sis and a younger brother kind of talk, you know, kind of thing. Right. So what actually gives keeps your love going? For because me. you're still like love bet, you just met, you you know. Yeah, for, for me, yeah, unless that's what uh, I think the whole idea is not keep staying in love, it's just staying in last. <laughs> that is the issue, you know. So if you've been with this person for 14 years and it's just that person and you can find ways of staying in love. So what is of interest to me, very stereotypical, forgive me, mm. is when I wake up and I see my wife mopping the floors. Amazing. When I go to the kitchen, forgive me, ladies, don't come on me. I love her for other reasons. When I go to the kitchen, she's cutting onions and she's crying. <laughs> or because of Because the onions are going to the eyes. When, when I see the way she's sophisticated, outside mm -hmm. and the way she's domesticated that gray area yeah. that is what is sexy for me you know right. so and staying in love and in lust with such a beautiful woman yeah. it's not that difficult mm. because i have decided to control what tickles me i don't let Th things tickle me that I have no control over, mm. you know. So, like the way she swags up my kids, mm -hmm. like this woman will wake up in the morning, cleans, gets the children ready on on, on the way to school. She will do Bible studies. You have twenty two or twenty three minutes drive from the house to their school. Fifteen minutes of that is a Bible study every day, one verse. How can you not love this woman? You know. So, and apart from that, she also knows how to wear pum pum shorts. Mm -hmm. You know how to wear shorts, shorts, and you know tickle it out of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, get she, get she, you, get your engines <laughs> working. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? She gets me confused. <laughs> <laughs> she, she knows how to get me confused. Yeah. Adika, what about you? <laughs> Before we got married, um, we spoke about this scripture that said that cords of three strands are stronger. And so than that of only two. Mm. So we decided that we would keep God in the marriage. I mean, it is not just a saying of keeping God in the marriage. It's a saying of actually working towards it. Mm. Because it's not the easiest of things, as we sit here saying. Sometimes the principle of not letting the sun set on your anger is very tough. Yeah. Because you just have to be angry and enjoy it. <laughs> but then... We it's have, true. <laughs> it is true, but then we Marie have, a witch. We, <laughs> <laughs> we have this principle of following that Bible principle, never letting the sun set on your anger. Mm -hmm. So, when it's time, sometimes you must swallow your pride and say, Okay, I'm sorry. This so, that is, I'm telling you, there's been times that I wake up in the morning and say, I mean, I'm sorry. Then she said, For what? I said, For things that I'm yet to do, <laughs> <laughs> of course, because you know, I think. <laughs> I think for the whole thing to work is a story and a, a promise of not happening again. Good. So, and me, you know me, I just would say the story and let her leave. Leave. Yeah, just keep so, saying. So I've said like one mm, million stories. Yeah, uh, I know. Since uh, we started. Mm, mm, you are the only one who says so sorry. Only me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, Annika, let's go on. Don't mind this one. Moving on. <laughs> so, yes, basically, we have agreed that we must use the principles that we know from God. Mm -hmm. We must ensure that it works. Mm. And one thing you also do is that um, you started this project about Flaunt Your Lover. Yes. Right. You are kind of on social media, in your face kind of thing, with your, with your wife. This is my wife. You know, we, we have so many pictures. You are having fun and taking pictures and putting on social media. Who does that with a wife? And put on how many men will show? I mean, celebrating men in the public who who will showcase their wives and flaunt it like, yes, this is my woman. How many men does that, think, do that? I think that if you can't enjoy what you, you do, you can't do it for a long time. Mm. And this is my life. My life is creating a social media persona mm. that a lot of people can tap into, and that persona must inspire. It mm. must give hope. 
and it must resonate love because that's who I am. Mm. And how else can I do it than mm. to show my immediate presence, my immediate environment? So my wife and my kids. And I do it like that. She does it. She's a very private person. So mm. usually before we even came to do this interview, can I can't see you. She mm. would have said no. Mm -hmm. She's a very, very private person. Okay. But I am out there. And I also think that out of all the things that I'll be able to achieve in life, if I'm able to let the world know that love is alive, mm. that's why we moved it beyond taking pictures and showing them on Instagram Instagram. and Facebook to actually making it an event right. where like-minded yeah. people... The, the, this year, before I forget, this year, when is it coming on? It's on the 16th of February okay. at Alisa, 8 okay. p.m. That'll be a Friday, right? A Friday. Friday. Yes. Okay. That's right nice after Friday. work in okay. your very lovely um, African prints. Just come in. And okay. So what exactly happens during okay. the program? I'll let you go on it. Okay. Okay. So um, it's a, it's a love-themed buffet in a plush ambience with musical mm. performances from Ochiame Kwame, the Patch Bay Band, maybe mm. Ms. V, Kwame Eugene. And then apart from that, we're going to get um, a, a, Kumasi is worrying me, a, 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 a therapist. I was going to say okay. therapist. <laughs> we're going to get a therapist to come and talk to us about sex in the marriage. It's just an opportunity for us to show love right. in an ambience where it's conducive. Everybody. Yes. And, and, and how do you spice your sex life? Oh, it's a lot of things. So it's also with text messaging. Mm. Because... I'm talking about you, the two of you. Yes, yeah. not that the two husband. of us. Well, for, for me, mm -hmm. it's a psyche kind of thing. I don't just see you and say, oh, it's, it has to be a process. So God, you... Okay. Text me, we it's a lot of things that come in. You hear what me. he said? Hard work. Hard work. <laughs> have to wake up in the morning. The same time you need to use to write the raps. Mm -hmm. Have to use it to write raps for one person. <laughs> Just the eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm coming home before. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you come home, you get a horse kick. <laughs> <laughs> But for me, I'm a man. I'm just tickled by sight, what I see. So mm -hmm. I come home. Ogumpem. Children are asleep. An opportunity to have a feather in my cap. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it doesn't take much. But for women, yeah. that's again very complex. Mm -hmm. Hard work. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the struggles of Achiyami Kwame. Eh? Part Ma one and two. <laughs> Part one and two. You, I just love you, Anika. Ah, no. eh? Man, they suffer, but woman don't know. No, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Do you cry? Yes, we do. Mm. We do. <laughs> and what? Like, our personalities are very different. Mm. Totally different. And so... We have a lot of quarrels, so I want A, he wants B, and it's then eventually we find a midpoint and agree. Yeah, not great. Basically, yes, and I'm sure most of the time, time you make the compromise. He does. Tell the truth. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for admitting. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Let me take <laughs> another break, and then when we come back, we'll continue this. You are honest. Very. <laughs> now understand, honesty also keeps the marriage is going, you know, to be honest with each other. The Standpoint is sponsored by Wilma Africa. They produce phyto cooking oil, and they also bring into this country fortune rice, which comes in three types. The green package, one very good for the soft dishes, or mutuo rice water. Orange package, one excellent for wache. And then the wine package, one good for... <laughs> You see, the lovers are confusing me. Can you imagine? I'm talking, they are still chopping love on my show. Eh? Okay, the white package one is good for fried rice and jollof rice. If you want to use that, go for the wine package for tune rice. Say thank you to African Women's Development Fund, AWDF. They support African women's rights across Africa. We also say thank you to um, Gogot Yogurt. Wilma Africa, I've said that already. Um, apple juice, royal apple juice and royal orange juice. Awake purified mineral water, all by Casa Preco Company Limited. We take a break when we come back. We'll wrap up this 
interesting conversation that I wish we could do part two, but we can't. So later, we'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to The Standpoint. What are you waiting to hear? Uh, okay, you hear it very soon. But let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth looking very Valentine-ish. And then this dress was made for me by Chic Collection. My hair is by Extra 5. They're at um, Hacho, on the main Hacho Road somewhere upstairs. You, you get them there. My earrings, you know, by... Um, a goodzy Ghana, you know, she does the beats for me most of the time. But today, because of my dress, I don't need a beat. So it's just earrings. And then, of course, makeup product by Paba Cosmetics, applied by Makeup and More. I'm looking for a shoe sponsor, okay? If you want to sponsor my shoe, please, so that I become a complete mannequin. Walking, you know, <laughs> mannequin. Right. Anika, how much does your marriage mean to you? A lot. It means... A big lot. Actually, it's it's a big chunk of my life because I live with him. Mm -hmm. We have businesses together. We have children. That is key because they are so dependent on us. Mm -hmm. They don't have anywhere else to go. Right. And when they wake up one day and they realize we are not together, it will not be a good thing for them. Because one day we were just lying together, all of us, and then... My son said, this is my favorite thing in the world. Oh. I said, what is it? said, that mommy and daddy are lying here and Santi and I are also here. So we, it means a lot to us. Anika, what is that one thing that you feel deep down your heart about your husband and you've never said to him before? One thing I love about this relationship is how... He leads the way in resolving issues. Mm. It's amazing. Um, but for that fact, maybe we may not even have reached here. But then he's, he's extremely patient, super patient, and very gentle. And he lets things go easily. Like he doesn't harbor resentment. And so those are some of the amazing qualities of his. And um, I appreciate it. I love him keep being that amazing good person that you are yes brother what is that one thing i've never told her she's just amazing mm -hmm. it's just um, she's amazing she's um, she's 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 an angel with a small drop of demon in her. <laughs> like <laughs> She's the total package. Right. Yeah, she's the... I, sometimes I close my eyes and I try to imagine, so if I had mm. married someone else, would I be this mm. happy? Mm. The answer is always no. No. Because I know that... I, I see the way she shrinks my happiness along. You know, she's, she's, the, she's the real did deal. You, did you know this is what you were getting when you were married? Yeah? No, no, no. When I was marrying Ami, I, I, I had just seen a beautiful woman with a big round butt. And I just wanted to make it official <laughs> <laughs> so that her father would let me go. Because sometimes I will be sitting in the car with the father and she gets down to buy stuff and I'm looking at her waist and I can feel the fire father. burning through my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just wanted to make it official so that I could take this one home and have fun. I didn't know I was going to get this. I, I didn't know that I was going to get the real deal. Right. So far, so best. So honestly. far, so best. Yes. They deserve a round of applause. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm inspired and I believe that, and I hope and pray that a lot of people will inspire, be inspired and then take something from it because we need to make marriages work. It's true. And I believe that's what we are talking When In my intro, I said that we are going to look at how to sustain the love, not just Valentine period. It's true. Or February, so we just love and then the love is gone. You know. So moving on, how are you going to keep the fire? Fire burning. The next 10, 15 years, going to be when you're 50 and 60, your parents have been married 51 years. That's true. I hope and pray that you will go 70 years in marriage. 
<laughs> that will make me an immortal. <laughs> <laughs> what it is is that I like planning a lot. That's mm. all I like to do. But then there are things that you never see coming. Mm. And so with the marriage, as much as we have planned, mm. we also live in the moment. We mm. make sure that in the moment, if his needs have changed, if he doesn't want this anymore that I used to do back then, we would have a deliberation and then we would move on to what will now make him happy. So it's, what we plan to do is actually continuously keep the communication lines open so that we will continuously talk. Yeah. And yeah. it's your life all about making him happy? When I make him happy, I am happy because it is tied together now. The two shall become one. one. And so it is tied together. So he also supports me to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. There are programs that I go and do outside that he was the one that saw and said, do this. I think it will help you manage this better or do this better. And so we complement each other. It's not just me thinking about him all the time. He mm -hmm. also always thinks about me mm -hmm. and what will be best for me too. So it's intertwined. Rap, love, doctor. In the building. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm in the building, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, so, going up, going forward, mm -hmm. I think that I should just make more money because lately she just found a fetish for traveling around the world. <laughs> and, you know, when I say, let's go to the US and go and have fun small, she would like to come with the children. That is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that means instead of tickets for two, it's tickets for four. You know, you know, so based on this newfound uh, hobby, mm -hmm. traveling around the world, because yesterday she was talking to her children about going to Kenya. In the morning, I intentionally pretended that you didn't hear. <laughs> you know, so I think I should make more money. Mm. Uh, but apart from that, I should just, I should just be myself. Mm -hmm. And love and continuously okay. stay focused because right. the lead these days the girls they are jeggings and Instagram mm -hmm. and it's just I mean awesome. The Temptations girls are everywhere. Everywhere, you know. So I just I think I should stay focused. Mm. And I'm telling you, this might sound a little corny, but the family that prays together stays together. It's true. Yes. So through prayers, yeah. you know, pray every mm. night, pray together. Mm -hmm. And I think that. If this is the plan for God, God's plan for me, that's linked to my purpose, is to stay married to Annie forever, I wouldn't want to do anything humanly possible to disturb that purpose. Mm. So, maybe a day. A day for you, baby. <laughs> a day for you. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank so, you. So, uh, next week, um, Friday, which is 16th. Yes. It's going to be at Elisa at 6 p.m. Yes. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. And it's it's a 8 p.m. prompt. Let 8 p.m. Yes. prompt. So yeah. Label 8 p.m. PM. Yeah. Okay. Not Ghana. Is yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can get your tickets at Alisa Hotel. Alisa Hotel. Okay. Front your lover love theme night. Okay. With amazing music, right. soft and ambience. And right. You just must come. I think it's the classic ticket is like 400 Great. Okay. for two. For two. Okay. For three course okay. meal. And a VIP oh, is yes. Yeah, then it's it's the VIP fair. is uh, five hundred for two. Okay. Single and searching is two fifty. Okay. You know, so you can pick your ticket at um, Alisa. Alisa mm. Hotel. Visit my social media pages on Chamber Kwame okay. everywhere. Yes, you can I'll also win them. tickets actually okay. to the event. Right. Okay. We'll okay. have an amazing time over All there. All right. Thank you very much. We have um, a little packet for you from oh. Wilma Africa. Ah, <laughs> we have. Annika, does he know how to cook? No. <laughs> then I'm that was away. one lie he told me. Then I'm taking it away. When I'm taking this away. Me, uh -huh. He said, my dad knows how to cook. Yeah. So we discussed it and he said, I know <laughs> how to cook. I can cook guacamole. And I had never heard what guacamole. Guacamole was. <laughs> so I was like, oh, wow. So I went on Google. Guacamole. Oh, exotic man. And then... We bought everything, and he couldn't lift a finger. Not <laughs> really. I make burritos. Oh, please. <laughs> what are you talking about? He said I, I, made, made, somewhere. I made guacamole. Wasn't on your show in GTV when no, you invited me to come for a cooking program. program uh -huh. Remember that I made guacamole. And, and we, 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 oh, how much help did you get? Hey. To do that, no, no, no. <laughs> how many people do we have in Ghana here who know how to make guacamole? <laughs> it wasn't me, me. 
it didn't work. You know now, that. when he, he needs food, even if you've set it up in the microwave, he said, when press the microwave for him to, he doesn't know anything in the kitchen. It's sad. The I'll just time, give the it to my son. My son saw me turning eggs. He said, but daddies don't cook. I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 you know what? That is no cook. But that is no cook. He has said, never no, 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 seen that anything like that. cook. <laughs> you see, then you better pick it up. Yes, I should. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. We are really grateful that you've come to share your life with us today. And I believe that I am inspired. I, I have learned a lot. I think it's going to help me in my marriage. I'm going to change certain things. I'm telling you. I'm going to change certain things, you know, that from You've my been part. a role model for a very long time. Oh. And sitting here with you, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an honor to be. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I've, I've learned something from this conversation. Honest. Honest truth. That's right. Honest egg. truth. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, we'll be back with a bit of me. If I follow these two, I won't leave. <laughs> we'll be back with a bit of me. <laughs>I'm the kind of person who has been described by um, friends and loved ones as having OCD. Because there are certain things, even when I'm eating, no matter how much I'm starving and you do around me, I will not eat the food. And then one day my, my daughter had a cold and she couldn't breathe properly. I had to suck the mucus out of her nose. That's when I, did, I, I understood the love. For me to do that, I've seen people do that and I never thought I could do it understood love when you love somebody you do not think about sacrificing for them you just do it you go all out to make sure that that person doesn't hurt you make a conscious effort not to hurt that person yes we are human we are all fallible we are not infallible we are fallible we make mistakes but it had to take a lot of discipline, respect, compassion to live for the person you call your lover or the person you, 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 you claim you are in love with. There's nothing wrong with showcasing publicly that this is the person I love. This is my man. This is my woman. I do not disagree. I do not agree with the saying that it's people who love you who will hurt you. Or people who love you are the ones who hurt you most. Shouldn't be like that. It mustn't be like that. People close to you, yes, people who love you or people you love when they hurt you. I mean, it really hurts when they disappoint you. It really hurts. But it shouldn't be something that they deliberately did it. The, something that they know they could have avoided and yet they did it. It's easy to fall in love. Very easy. We all do fall in love. But sustaining love is tough. Sustaining the love, especially in marriage, is tough. I'm no married counselor. I'm no married expert. But I've seen and heard too much for me to conclude that we are not loving enough. We are not giving enough love in our marriages. Valentine's Day, of course, yes. We'll all have fun. We'll all be happy. After that, what next? What next? Sustaining your love. Sustaining your relationship. It will also take God. Making God the center of it. As you know, I'm the woman with the super crazy faith in God. See you same time next week. Bye for now.